uh, way late with this one compared to what I usually do, but I kind of got caught up in the afternoon games, and then I got caught up in the night games, so whatever, it really doesn't matter at all, so let's talk about it now. Um, took care of business today, pretty much what I expected. I expected St. Louis to give us a fight. They usually do in St. Louis, but we were the ones who came out on top. It was solid. It wasn't a game that came down to the wire. And actually, this was probably the most decisive victory we've had against St. Louis and St. Louis in some time. If you look at our previous games that where we go to the Edward Jones Dome, it's usually a lot closer than this. So, where do you start with a game like this? Um, Forsett, obviously the player of the game. Other than, you know, there were a couple times where the Rams were just breaking down our run, uh, run blocking, and I thought they did a pretty good job of stopping us in the backfield a few times, but we were able to compensate by breaking off big plays on the ground. Again, obviously, Forsett being the main culprit behind that, I thought, you know, he played just awesome. <clears throat> Can't say anything bad about how he played. Um, 130 yards, got in the end zone a couple times. I think that's cool that we let him score. Didn't bring in a power back. I'm guessing that Lewis Rankin probably lost some um, carries in this game with that early fumble that kind of put the Rams back in it. And well, we didn't really see too much of him after that, and Forsett ended up taking care of things down at the goal line. So we were able to control the game for the most part through the ground. Never could pass the ball effectively, which was frustrating and a little disappointing to me. But, you know, those Rams defensive backs, they were playing aggressive, and I wasn't completely shocked by it because I thought I saw a little something with them in week one when we played them even though we completely dominated them and we did pass the ball well I thought they were being aggressive and I wondered if that might continue today and it did I mean we couldn't pass the ball at all and at some point we basically stopped trying we ended up running the ball um, predominantly in this game we never got a pass over 20 yards uh, Burleson led the team with 46 yards I, I thought he played fine um, I liked what he brought other than that, no receiver stepped up, but no turnovers in the passing game either. The only turnover was the Lewis ranking um, fumble, so that's not that bad. One thing that did frustrate me was, <clears throat> you know, we were trying to get Hushman Zada involved, trying to get Hushman Zada catches, because, well, obviously we know he's not thrilled with the way things are going for him right now, but it um, seems like we tried to get it to him, and it just wasn't happening today. Two catches, 14 yards. Uh, just wasn't there, and that's going to happen. Hopefully he understands he's going to have better games than that later on. Hmm, what else? Uh, defensively, I thought we did fine. Bowler had a pretty good game in terms of, you know, just passing, but that didn't surprise me. <coughs> Jackson had an okay game, but, you know, he's Steven Jackson. He's going to do that. For the most part, we contained him, held him under four yards of carry, didn't let him break off too many big plays. I think he had a 25-yarder, and other than that, I didn't have a problem with how we played him. So, they were able to move the ball. They got some points. They were able to produce, but at the end of the day, we got what we needed. Um, two big turnovers off bowler. Josh Wilson with the pick six. I love that dude. I mean, there are some players on this team that I think can be part of a successful Seattle team next year, in two years, in three years. And Josh Wilson is one of those. That guy just makes plays. He, I wasn't too excited about drafting him when we did several years ago. I wasn't sure about him, but we put him back on kick returns. He makes plays. He makes picks. He, he just, he's always around the football. And... I like seeing that because it seems like a lot of our defensive backs don't make plays around the football. <clears throat> they might be good players, but they don't make a lot of plays like that. So, even though we did let them move the ball, we made up for it for the most part with the turnovers. And, you know, I'll take the good with the bad as long as it produces a win, and today it did. <clears throat> now, there were a couple times where I was frustrated with our coverage, you know, um... We gave up a couple big plays in the passing game. Amendola had a significant game on us. 
and there were a couple times where I got a little frustrated with the way the defense was playing, but at the ultimately, we did what we needed to do. Uh, defensively, some of the stars, obviously Josh Wilson for that pick. I thought we got good pressure on Bowler, and you know Bowler showed some escapability, so we got more pressure on him than the sacks might indicate. We had four sacks. It was probably worse than that. Kearney got a sack. Hawthorne, Tap, um, Redding got a sack. I, I do kind of wish Curry had picked up one because he's a guy who needs to show that he can be uh, a big-time player in this league, and I'm starting to have questions about that, but we'll, we'll worry about that later, right? So, what else? Oh, uh, on the first play of the game, we gave up a sack to James Laurinaitis, or however you pronounce his name. No more sacks for the rest of the game, so we patched that up. I was really worried after that first play. I was thinking to myself, is this going to be one of those days? But <clears throat> I, I think we made out pretty well. Not too much pressure on the quarterback, and we got out of there with the healthy mat, so... At this stage, I will pretty much take that. I kind of have to. But, um, yeah, that's really about it. Good win. Not dominant, not close, just a regular solid win. We sweep the Rams. That's 10 straight over St. Louis. And I guess, I guess I'll hold it off there. There was a lot of good stuff happening in the NFL this week, but I'm not going to talk about that yet. I'll talk about it, you know when I usually do. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later.